Hello, my internet family. Welcome to a new video and welcome to a house reset, extreme clean, like all the things, you guys. I launched a new business this week, House to Home Decor, and my house has suffered because of it. I've had no time to do the regular maintenance and girl, it show. So today we're gonna turn things around. Also, sometimes in these videos, I like to do a little bit of a life update, a chit chat in the voiceover. Some of you guys like that and some of you guys like a lot of music. So if you could just tell me if you prefer a lot of talking or a lot of music or 50-50 in the comments, I would appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this and let's turn this house around. Oh my gosh, girl, how have you been? What's new? Let me know in the comments. I am so excited to just get into this video, get this video up for you guys, keep you motivated, and do a little bit of a life update, a lot of questions. Um, I have been asked recently, I figured I would just wrap them into this voiceover, but as I told you in the intro, I very recently launched a new business, HouseToHomeDecor.com, and it has been such a whirlwind of a launch week. Oh my gosh, a lot of things went wrong, a lot of things went right. I learned so, so much and it was seriously so overwhelming, but I'm just so happy I'm through a launch so I know what it's like and I just have not been able to keep up around here. So that is what I'm working on today. We're going to do two days of cleaning in this video. So first day is the downstairs, second day is the upstairs. And wow, I just feel like so much has been going on in life lately. So I'm excited to get into so much of that in this video today as I keep you super motivated to get your home all clean too. So let's start with all of the clutter on the countertops. That way I can get into the deep cleaning. I really wanted to disinfect a lot of surfaces today. It had just been way too long. And again, like literally for my mental state, I needed the house to be clean because it had been a week straight of just such a mess since all of my time and energy really was on this first house to home decor launch. And let me just tell you, I am not a crier, but I literally cried like four times just figuring things out for the first time and like simple things that took just so much longer than they should have simply because I had never done them before like different shipping and fulfillment things but girl I figured it out and now I know and that's the thing with hard things you have to learn how to do them once and then you know how to do them so you guys are you know thinking about any new ventures of literally anything i highly encourage you to do it because you only live once and if i can figure things out girl so can you so i'm going to move on to the dishes now get this sink taken care of and get through all of these boring things at super sonic speed and we're going to work our way around the downstairs just front to back the only two rooms i am not doing in this video down here are the playroom and my office because they were fine and i really just wanted to focus on the the worst spots. And for scrubbing out this sink, I used Dawn. I don't have power wash, but we all know I love it. Some bar keepers and then an abrasive scrub daddy. But I was like super gentle because I didn't want to scratch our stainless steel sink. And now I can get into all of that disinfecting. We all know I've been waiting to do that on all the hard surfaces and then anything that we touch a lot. So the remotes, the handles on the appliances, um, the island stools, I will do those. And while I'm tackling all of this, the next thing I thought I'd talk about is is making mom friends because people have asked me about this at least once a week but probably more since we moved to florida like people struggle with this and i so understand because i definitely struggled with it too i will say it definitely takes time guys and it seems like a lot of you guys follow me who live in a different state and want to move to florida or recently have i just i don't know i've been attracting a lot of those people lately um so first and foremost it's gonna take a while for everybody i definitely think it takes so much longer if you're a working mom since you just aren't in social situations as often you know since you're working but if you of course are working with a lot of people that will definitely help it just so depends on how your lifestyle goes 
Um, first and foremost, I know there are those MOPS groups. I don't know what it stands for, but it's MOPS. They're in like tons of different areas around the country. And it's a great way for moms to get together Facebook groups in your area. I personally haven't done anything online, but I know a lot of people have success with that. What I have done is I found so many people just like in our neighborhood, parks, playgrounds. You start talking and chatting and exchange phone numbers, even at like some restaurants locally I've met people. So um, it's almost like you have to force yourself to be a little more social if you're not, which I don't think I'm shy, but I'm not like the most social person instantly ever. So sometimes you just got to force yourself to be more social than you are. I will tell you that from experience um, and just know like it will take a while, guys. Again, I told you it took me a year and a half to feel like I have met a significant amount of people. So I just want to throw in literally any tips I have for you there, even if they are small and simple but force yourself to go to things force yourself to be talkative and chatty at the playgrounds and the parks and your people will come i promise you that All right, girl, we are on a roll now. We have a lot of things done, but a lot more to do. I'm taking all of this dirty laundry upstairs. I'm gonna get that started. I still have floors to do. That fan is for um, a toy. It's not a toy, but it's like an indoor tent thing for Forrest. So um, I have a lot of things, accessories to carry around for his toys. I'm gonna get all of the dirty laundry from the entire house, throw it into one big pile and tackle it. So girl, if you are working with me, we're only about seven minutes in, keep it going and keep the momentum up. We have the first load of laundry in. I really should have started the video with that. We all know that, <laughs> but I did it now. I have the steam mop and the vacuum. I'm just gonna shut some windows and blinds a little bit because it was a rainy day. It started to get very dark outside. So I figured I should do that. And now for the next topic, I was like, I'm gonna purposely put this a little further in the video because I just know not everyone's gonna agree with this, which is absolutely fine. This is just me and my weirdness and who I am and myself and just how I think about things things um so with the whole friendship thing obviously when you move somewhere new so much about your life is going to change but also just like stay true to your original mindset and goals and what is right for you and for me family obviously is first work is second like i am obsessed with youtube instagram house to home decor influencer launchpad all of those things and then friends for me are honestly like the bottom of the totem pole most days and of course not everybody but i just i also know that like as i meet a lot of people more people i literally cannot foster every friendship i just don't have the time and the capacity and all of that so i don't know i just it's like an interesting thing to talk about because everybody is so different but at the same time like with the youtube stuff and with how hard i've worked at all of this stuff for so many years i feel like i'm at such like a privilege it's such a privilege for me to be able to do all of these things and call it a job that like i do not take it for granted for a second and i don't know it's just like such a special thing and i'm so thankful for all of this that it is forever a huge priority and so yeah i don't know i know not everyone's gonna agree with that and of course friendships are important but also just like stay true to what your original goals are and don't let so many friendships get in the way of those goals i guess is what i'm trying to say i don't know if i am making sense but I always like to motivate you guys in every way and not just around your home, but like how you think in your mindset too and just like sticking to your goals and having goals and focusing on goals. So I just figured I would put in that little reminder of whatever is right for you is what you should do. Stick to the long-term plan and 
just you know keep at it that is what i certainly have to remind myself to do every single day so we are finally on to the mopping but i was washing the mop head i know it has two but i've only had one for a long time i don't know what happened to it so i just put a microfiber on the bottom with hair ties if it's being washed not the cutest but girl it gets the job done and i always if i have the chance i want to mop when no one's home because then there will be those little feet walking all over it and i really just want it to dry um and turn out super well since we all know i'm rushed throughout the whole day anyway if i'm gonna do it i want to make sure it's done super well And we are about halfway through the steam mopping. I was in such a good mood at this point because I got done a lot more than I thought I would have time for today. Girl, I was hustling to make all of this happen. And I am so, so glad I did. And I will say, I have shared so many like vacuums and mops in these videos. I love the two-in-ones. I just haven't filmed with one of those in so, so long. Steam mops though are just so easy. It's just water. You throw the heads in the washing machine. There's no products, but I really need to pull out those two-in-ones ones like the vacuum and mops in one because those are so so great i just i get into like the habit of the same thing over and over again and stick with it but this is a great one i will have a link below for it i try and link it a lot because i definitely get a ton of questions about it mopping all the way down the stairs i just did almost all the main areas i'll do um the bathroom put all of the rugs back and then we're gonna do a little check-in for day two and let me know what you guys think about all of the questions if you have any comments to add for other moms below please do it i want this to be you know helpful and motivating in all of the ways so don't be shy write your comments below hey there welcome to day two we're gonna tackle the upstairs today i just did the school run in the morning pickup downstairs and it looks exactly like it did yesterday really clean so i am super pumped to get the upstairs as clean as downstairs. I need it for my soul. Um, I'm gonna pick up this area, and girl, if you have not seen our new movie room, where have you been? It's my last video. I shared the whole project start to finish, so check it out if you missed it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, pull some laundry out here, get that folded, so that way I can actually walk in the laundry room because it's a little bit crazy, do my bedroom, and all the things, so let's go. All right, girl, keep that pace up if you're working with me. I'm gonna start with vacuuming up here, then I will throw way too much laundry on that couch and get it folded. And I've been linking this vacuum a ton lately because it's been on sale. Honestly, I think it's the best affordable vacuum, at least that I have ever used. By far, it works so good. I've had it for a couple years, and the suction is still extremely strong, and it only comes with um, one head attachment, which I think is so nice because, I don't know about you, but I don't need like six or 10 head attachments for my vacuum I just lose them so I love this huge fan of it I'm gonna get a bunch of this laundry folded in the Kanmari fold of course gonna roll all of my towels get those put away I am happy to say too I have been able to maintain the closets that we decluttered a couple months ago up here for the towels and for the cleaning products so I am feeling pretty good about that and I also feel like I should add on to like putting work before friends at this point in my life. Not everybody, of course, but just like, you know, I have work second priority, of course, it's just who I am. As I also feel like it's for certain phases of life for me. So for me in my 20s and 30s, I better work my butt off. And then I might relax a little bit in 40s, 50s, 60s, but also... Who knows because i love working so much so honestly if i was to win the billion dollar lottery tomorrow i keep seeing that on the news it keeps happening to people in florida i would still post on youtube i would still do house to home decor i might be filming and you know selling and whatever all of those kind of things from a yacht in the south of france occasionally <laughs> 
<laughs> that I'm not doing right now, but I still would be doing these things. So I, I just, you know, feel so lucky that I get to do this. I'm going to keep doing it and working at it and all the things. But anyways, we're almost done with all of this laundry folding and I did not get to putting it away, but we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes towards the end. All right, we have moved on to my bedroom. I'm gonna get everything all cleaned up in here. I'm gonna dust, I'm gonna make the bed. I had some pillow covers. I had to wash the same day I washed them and put them on my bed, Forrest. He brought them downstairs when we had friends over and he was making a pillow for it and dragging them across the floor. I have sensitive skin and you know, for like hygiene reasons, common sense reasons, I was like, I'm gonna wash these a second time the same day before I put them back on my bed. So finally got them back on today. I'm gonna get everything off the counters here. Swiffer in here, I'm going to vacuum and get all the services disinfected. So this is a disinfectant I shared in the same video where I shared like a mold remover. If your shower has soap scum or mold, oh my gosh, I'm gonna link the product. I have never seen something work as well as this. It literally is instant. I think the pack of two is $26, so it's not super cheap, but it's a second product and literally, it will completely transform your shower instantly or a tub. Yes, it's amazing. So those will be below, but I, um, First, I sprayed everything on this countertop and then I went and dusted with some water on this microfiber, the surfaces in my bedroom, the dresser, the nightstands, and then I came back in there and I used the same towel with the product. And now I'm going to vacuum in my bedroom. So the next question that I've been getting a lot, and I think anyone who is on social media is going to get this question. And people just ask me about self-confidence a lot and posting and worrying about what other people think and all of that. And I've been doing this for so long, you guys, like for 10, 11, years so it's been a very long time since I cared what anybody thought but I also think it comes with age a little bit too like and I think it comes with being focused I'm so focused on like you know what I'm doing and family and work and all of that like literally I couldn't care less if somebody thinks I'm annoying or boring or this and that and you know I probably am but um yeah I don't know it doesn't it, seriously it doesn't bother me whatsoever and I think you just have to get to a place with yourself where you are so sure of who you are and what you're doing that it's also like reality not everyone is going to like you that's just how you know it works in life for everybody for kids and for adults and I think you just have to accept that like that is who it is like none of us need everybody to be our friend and like us and think we're great because that's just not the real world so i think the sooner you kind of like accept that and realize that within yourself the sooner everything is just easier honestly of course when i first started posting i would be self-conscious but it's been a very very long time since I cared if I had a pimple or a huge stomach from being really bloated and a cheeseburger that day. So just, you know, is what it is and think about it and realize nothing is a huge deal. Um, I'm in forest room now. We had a toy explosion, as you can see in here. And I had to deal with this while he was not here because he would just pull everything back out instantly. So once a week I try and I'll get in here and I'll get everything off the floor, vacuum everything and dust and wipe everything down. But every time I show you this room, I'm like, we need to decorate in here. I feel bad that we haven't, but that is like the next project on our list. We really want to do an animal room with for him because he is so, so obsessed with animals and it is just the cutest thing. All right guys, I've gotta cut this a little bit short because I need to go do a mail drop for House to Home Decor before I pick up Forrest because I know he's not gonna to wanna to do that. So thank you so much for watching and spending the time with me. I hope I kept you motivated. I will be putting all of this away tonight. Sorry, I didn't get to it, but thanks for being here. I have so many recent videos down below for you. Also check out House to Home Decor if you haven't yet. I will have that down below as well. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.